Hey everybody. All right, so I've got some things to say and rather than type them all out, I just thought I would go live. So yes, here I am in the middle of my workout. And to be honest, um, I just got out of my pajamas about 30 minutes ago. I spent the morning doing all the things. Um, my daughter wanted her hair straightened and she looks super cute today, even though obviously we're not going anywhere, but makes her happy. And you know what? Maybe we should all do that once a week, get out of our pajamas and get dressed and make ourselves feel good. But, you know, I helped her with her homework. She's still working on it now. And I did a bunch of work for my students. But you know what? It's just as important to make some time for me. So here I am. I got out of the pajamas, doing a little workout. And I've been thinking a lot lately about how people are really, really struggling with being at home. And you know what I think it is? I think it's that we were not given that choice, right? It's like it was thrown on us. And that's the thing that bothers us because, you know, when we have the choice to do something, when we make that choice, we accept that. But when someone makes the choice for us, that's when we struggle. And that's what I think many people are struggling with right now is that they did not have this choice. So they're having a hard time trying to figure out how they're going to deal with it. But you know what? It's, it's up to us how we are going to deal with it. We, we really don't have a lot to complain about, guys. I mean, you're in your house and you're healthy and you've got everything you need, right? I mean, you've got your family. And yeah, our world has been kind of knocked around for a little bit and things were gonna change. And you know what? It's okay if for a couple of months school looks different. It's okay if for a couple of months our entire world looks different. It's not the end of the world, right? Like, can we just have that perspective today that the sun is shining, we're healthy, and we're just gonna do the best with what we have. And that is our power, right? You know, I've seen many of you sharing that everything feels like it's been taken away. No, nothing. It has not been taken away from you at all. You still have that power of choice. And I think, you know, think of it like this, like it's spring, right? And isn't that a time of renewal? Like what if the universe has given us this time so that we can actually kind of build our cocoon? right? Isn't that what nature does in the winter? You know, they hibernate and they build that cocoon and then, oh my gosh, they break free in the spring and everything comes alive. And what if this is the universe's way of having us all build a cocoon? And oh my gosh, in a couple of months, we are all going to break free and we're going to be alive and we're going to be like butterflies, <laughs> like flying all around. And it's going to be, it's going to be beautiful. But you know what? You can't expect that two months from now, we're going to go back to what our normal was because that's not going to exist. We're all going through this time right now. We're going to be forever changed. So that means, yeah, life is going to quote unquote, go back to normal, but you know what? You have the power to choose what part of that normal you're going to return to. And you know what? Part of that normal, as you reflect and think about it now, you might not want to go back to there might be parts of your normal from last month that you're gonna bless and release and say goodbye to. And I think that is so powerful. And again, that's our power of choice. Like what if instead of looking out the window and craving all that is out there, what if instead we use this time to look inside? Look at all the beauty that's inside too. Don't press your face against the window and wish for all that was, part of that you will be able to return to. But you know what? There's some new things waiting for all of us. And it's going to, it's going to be great and it's going to be amazing. And already I can tell you that I'm learning some great stuff about my students that's going to change the way I teach when I go back to a room 
classroom. But right now I'm enjoying the virtual classroom that I have with them. And it's the same thing with life. Like we're getting opportunities with our kids. Like my daughter's 11 and as she's gotten older, like that's been the thing that I've reflected on most. I'm like, oh, I wish I could go back to when she was little. I want more time with her and boom, the universe rewarded me with that. Now I've got all this time with her. It's a different kind of time, but it's still time, right? And we're not going to get this back. So you've got the power. You've got the power to choose. And I want all of you to choose to think of this as a, as a cocoon moment for all of us. And, you know, what are you going to do today? And then bless and release it and pick up tomorrow and just make the best of it. But right now, we're all in our cocoons. And when the universe says it's time, we're gonna break free and we're gonna be the most beautiful group of butterflies that this world has ever seen. So I guess that's just all that I wanted to say, but I had all those random thoughts and here you go, I shared it. So have a great day and um, let's just keep building those cocoons, okay? All right, have a good day, bye.